Well, welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake, and we're bringing a new game to the channel. I'm not sure how long it's going to last or how long it's going to be around, but um, Slytherin published uh, Valor and Victory, and let's just see the credits here real quick. It was uh, by uh, design and development of, is by Yo Bro Yo Bo War Games. Originally based on the board game by Barry Doyle, and literally it is for those not familiar with it. Obviously, those that are familiar with it, you can just regard this part. It is a classic a counter moving board game with dice rolls um, that appear on the screen so it's like you're playing a tabletop war game except for it's digi digital so I'm gonna give this a shot give it a try we'll run through the tutorial real quick and then we're gonna start with the British and we'll just go through each scenario and we'll May, based on how long they take and how badly I lose, we'll probably play that same scenario a couple of times within an episode, and we'll just, you know, play by ear and see how it goes from there. So, first thing I need to do is see if I can turn this music down. There we go. Much better. Okay, back to the main menu. So... We're going to go, uh, right now we'll just go into new game here, and I did download the Arnhem DLC. Actually got this as a special for being with, uh, I think it's five years with Silverin, um, and so it was uh, not free, but it was greatly reduced price, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So we're going to play the tutorial, just to give you a flavor for it, and then we'll go into the British sector the first scenario there so let's go ahead and go next so uh, you have to play as the axis with the fog of war and the dice bias here uh, if you click on it you can do AI advantage strong AI advantage player advantage strong player advantage but we're gonna play none we're gonna play the turn length as designed uh, you make it harder by taking away turns and you supposedly make it easy by adding turns but we're just leave it where it is so the scenario details are here it's type is elimination attacker is the British defender is the Germans uh, game turns are five starting player Germans victory conditions the Germans must eliminate or pin all enemy units a simple scenario to teach you some of the game mechanics the basic mechanics of the game that I can't read so here's our order of battle we have a leader and uh, there are other videos that tell you what all these numbers mean but basically this is a attack defense and movement and attack and defense and, and what it is MG 44 and the only number really on these same here attack defense and movement we have here that may be wrong as far as those numbers will but the minus one is what uh, is important with the leader you get a minus one to the die roll because you want to roll as low as possible on the die roll and the leader stacked with your hex automatically makes it lower and we have two squads and this is a full rifle squad the Allied Order of Battle, they have a leader. They have three rifle, uh, four, six, and four, and ours are four, six, and five. And the leader, Smite here, is the same as our leader, whose name is Gruber. So, that's kind of the basics. Nothing's uh, out of the ordinary for anybody who's played uh, a pushing cardboard type of uh, game before and I've been doing that um, I'm older so I've been doing it for a lot of years so first digital one that I've done so we'll start off here German turn 
Okay, games are played in a series of turns. Each turn is divided into two player segments. Each player segment is further divided into a number of phases. Command. Command allows us to split units. Combine, well, we'll read about it here. Then you have fire. Then move and opportunity fire, defensive fire, and then advance. A turn ends after the end of turn segment. And a new turn begins unless the previous turn was the last turn of the game, per the scenario. In the first phase, the command phase, you can undertake the below action. You may split any of your squads into two half squads of the same type. If the units are located in the same hex with a leader, and less than four units are in the same hex, select the unit to split and click this button. Next one is, I'll leave it real quick is the opposite you're taking two half squads and making it one you may have infantry units which are located in the same hex exchange or transfer support weapons select a unit to swap between and click this button so you're just moving basically you're moving your support weapon this is a squad level game in case i didn't mention that uh think uh squad leader advanced squad leader something of that nature a gun or AFV with a gun may fire a smoke round in lieu of a normal attack during the fire phase. Select the unit to fire, click this button, then click the hex in line of sight to place the smoke. Smoke is a line of sight hindrance. Smoke placed by a gun or AFV adds a plus two hindrance modifier. To any attack that traces its line of sight into or through the smoke hex, in addition to the normal terrain cover modifiers of that hex, smoke has no effect on movement. Okay. If available, you can target enemy units in line of sight of one of your units with a light barrage. Click this button and then click the target hex. Artillery strikes are not guaranteed to hit the selected target and may drift to adjacent hexes. So, don't fire these bad boys <laughs> if you have a unit uh, next to it. You may kill your own guys. Okay. If available, you can target an enemy unit within uh, enemy unit in line of sight of one of your units with a heavy barrage. Click this button and click the target hex. Artillery strikes are not guaranteed to hit the select the target and may drift. Okay. If available, this is an aircraft. Enemy units with a fighter bomber airstrike. Click this unit, then click on the target here. Airstrikes are not guaranteed to hit the selected target and may drift. This button highlights hexes that are in line of sight of the selected hex. Click on this button to activate, and then click on the hex that you want to check LOS. Click a button again to switch it off. Or there is a hotkey, so... It says any time in the game you can press the H key to bring up that phase instruction. So we'll just hit H. There it is. Okay. Hover over each button below to get tool tips on what they do. And because of the screen size that I have selected, sometimes the uh, words drift off the bottom. So but we won't worry about that. Click on the next phase button when you are ready to proceed to the next phase. That's the next phase. Once you've selected a stack, you can select individual units to perform actions on here. A red border around the unit means it has been selected, okay? It says left click over the stack. Well, we'll zoom in here. There's the, there's the British guys coming in. So we got some woods, very typical top-down view on a hex encounter uh, war game. You got villas, barn it looks like. Here we got a, a bigger house, an orchard, and we're in the woods. Left click over this stack of units and select and perform the actions on. Try and split the infantry squads into two half squads. So we'll click here. Here's the infantry squad, okay? 
we select that, we can now split it. So there you go. We've got two half squads. All right. One half squad's got that. Uh, no support weapons with that. Okay. Right click over the stack units to see what the units are in the stack. And so I'm right clicking. We can see the exact same thing. We have two half rifle squads, a leader, and an MG uh, 34. And if we go here, we just got the rifle squad. Okay. So that was the command phase. So we're, we can be done with the command phase. And up here, it tells us what we're doing. We're tutorial, turn one of five. We're in the axis command phase. Okay. And then uh, line of sight is just the L key. So from here, and why I like to use this, because you can see that I can see that unit. That unit can see that unit. And you can see that this here, orchard or whatever, blocks any line of sight behind. So do that. And what we're going to do is move on to the next phase. Fire phase. You may now fire with any of your eligible units. Select your units to fire with and click on the enemy target in your line of sight. You may opt to fire smoke in lieu of attack uh, with any of the eligible uh, AFVs. Okay. A gun or AFV with a gun may fire a smoke round in lieu of the normal attack. And we've already read that. It adds a plus two, has no effect on movement. This button highlights the line of sight, which we've done, which we can click on and close that. We can just click on that. And then if we clicked here, well, let's click here. Now you can see that we can see all those. Same thing we do before the L key is much easier. Okay, so it says click on the next phase button when you're ready to proceed to the next phase. Okay, left click this stack and click on the British unit to fire at them. So here we go, the British unit. You have selected a stack to fire and hover over every unit range and LOS to see what defensive bonuses they get. Fired units will be grayed out and unavailable to move in the next phase. When you have selected a stack to fire and hover over the enemy units in range and LOS, you can see what their uh, bonuses are. They're going to get a plus three bonus. It must be in a house because there's a little house there uh, that we're, we're firing at. So that's, you know that. So now they fire and we rolled an 11. So... You can see that the attacker's anti-personal firepower was a 4. Dice modifiers was 3. Dice was 11. Okay. So our attack was uh, 4. I'm sorry. I guess it was attack, defense, movement. I think it said that. So we have 1 to 4. To do anything, we need to roll 6. We added 3. We rolled 11, and that's a plus 12. And you can see that no casualty was inflicted and it was a miss so we just close that and that's what we're going to do we're not going to fire these guys so we'll go next okay <clears throat> the player may move any unit that did not fire in the previous fire phase selecting the unit to move and adjacent hexes will be highlighted with movement costs uh let's see it says selected units and a hex marked as an exit will leave the game while units are selected several of this button while the units are selected click on this button to remove them from the map okay we can load and unload vehicles infantry units may use a special form called assault movement infantry units using assault movement have their movement points the reduction in movement points is applied before the unit moves and before any other reductions are applied to the unit's movement points. When an infantry unit assaults movement, it gains a plus one cover modifier in addition to the cover modifier that the train it occupies. All right. And then if, if we have a unit that has to rotate, this is to rotate, rotates the selected vehicle to the left while the vehicle is selected, click on this button. We'll reverse the selected vehicle while the vehicle is selected. Click on this button to reverse, turns to the right, and line of sight. All right, so let me close that. Okay. 
It says left click to select the stack and move it towards the British unit. The British units will opportunity fire on you. Okay. So we'll click this. Now you can see that it costs one to move here, two to move here. So let's go here. And they roll, they roll the five. Oh my God. They got as about as, as good a roll as possible. Attackers anti-personal firepower was 12. Dice modifiers, they could see me, which was a minus one and a minus one for a leader. They rolled a five. So five minus two is three. So they had 12, 11, 12, three. We took six casualties. So they literally took casualties and destroyed that unit. All right, so that's opportunity fire. Hell of a roll, by the way. So we'll click next. Okay, you may fire any of your units that had not previously used opportunity fire in the previous move phase. Select your units to fire with and click on the enemy to fire. Okay, so in the enemy's defensive phase, they can fire with any units that did not use opportunity fire in the previous move phase. As the British have already fired, you can move to the next phase. Okay. They've already fired. They can't they can't fire anymore. You can see they're all grayed out. And we got Gruber back because you know they killed everybody. You know, what fun would that be? So all right, so we go next. The player may advance his units one hex regardless of the train unless the unit is prohibited from entering the hex. Infantry units not advancing may conduct a close assault advice close assault versus an adjacent enemy occupied hex. Select the unit to assault with and select the enemy stack to assault. Okay. If you have a sniper in play, you can remove them from the map by clicking on this button. Uh, the sniper will be returned to the pool to be used again and rotates left, right, and LOS. So it says left click on this stack, left click on the British stack to launch a close assault. All right. So you can automatically see that close assault is available. They're going to have a plus three again and minus one for a leader and minus uh Guess that would be a plus one. I'm not sure how that would work. Anyway, we'll attack. Five. All right. So they that unit was destroyed, and you can see we automatically took their hex. So if you see here, we had nine. Well, we had nine. We no longer have nine because we took a casualty too. Uh, the defender's anti-personal firepower was that. Ratio, attacker's die roll minus fire was a leader. Defender's was minus, dice total four. Attackers lose seven, attackers wipe out the defenders. And that's it for the tutorial. So... So, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start a new game here, and, oh, and I guess let's say users can make scenarios, and you can create your own. So, we're going to do the British sector, we're going to go next. So, uh, Battle of Normandy, British sector, June 6th to August 30th, 1944. Operation Overlord, it was the code name of the Battle of Normandy, the Allied operation that launched the successful invasion of German-occupied Western Europe during World War II. This group of tactical scenarios focuses on the British successor. Sector, can you successfully capture Pegasus Bridge, the Melville Battery, or beat off determined German counterattacks? Enter and see. So next. All right. So we're gonna play as the Allied, which you can we can play as the Axis too, but we'll play as Allied. So we're gonna do the battle of uh, some uh, radar station. So let's uh, 
write that down. Make sure I get this spelled correctly. D E O U V R E S. Okay, we have not played this scenario. Scenario details. Objective attacker is the British, defender is the German. We got six turns, starting players the British. Victory conditions. British must control all objectives at any time to win. Okay, so once we if we capture them all before the five six turns are up, we automatically win. 17th of June at 4.30 p.m. The uh, Duvuz radar station has been contained since D plus one. Now, 41 commandos supported by Shermans and the 22nd Dragoons have been ordered to capture the station. Defending the stations are remnants from the Grenadier Regiment, uh, 736 Infantry Division, 716th uh, uh, KGR Roush Station, Panzer Grenadiers Regiment 192, and Luft. Uh, Nachrichten Regiment 53. After an hour of bombardment and assault by the commandos and the shock and days. After an hour of bombardment and an assault by the commandos, the shock and days Germans surrendered. As designed, no dice roll. Let's see. Axis order of battle. Looks like we get one, two, three leaders. They get 11. Uh rifles one mg37 four sorry four mg37 heavy machine gun two light mg34s a panzerfaust panzer shrek some grenades and looks like a pack 40 anti-tank yeah i could do should i play that one i could play the pegasus bridge I thought it went the other way where, let me just check real quick. I, I jump into something like that where we have lots of stuff. Let's see, what does the Allies have? Okay, we got two Shermans, we got a bunch of leaders, Satchel Charge, some Brands and some seven grenades, okay. And... Well, we got quite a few. Well, I've played the Pegasus Bridge to get familiar with the game. So, um, why don't we just start with the Pegasus Bridge as opposed to uh, one that's got a lot more. The order of battle is, again, we have two leaders. One of them is a minus two. So we'll just do the Pegasus Bridge. We got one leader with a minus one Gruber. We have six infantry squads, two MG34s, and looks like one pack 40. Allies have three leaders, one with a minus two, 10 squads, three Brens, and three grenade guys. Okay. So, let's go ahead and start the scenario. Okay, so it's the British turn now. And we're just going to close that because we know what it is. It's the command phase. I think I could turn that off. Okay, so our job is to capture these two spots. We start off over here. And if we, we can just click on this, we can see that that squad's got one brand uh, grenades, uh, a leader, and three full squads. Uh, no. That does. Okay. This one, we got the big leader, three squads, one brand, and grenades. This is just a backup squad. And Moto, we have three squads. 
Bren and grenades and the one leader. So, all right, we have to cross over here, but we can't cross this hex. Uh, we have to cross the bridge. So we're going to have to come in here, take this bridge, come across, and take um, this uh, victory hex. So from a command standpoint, really have nothing to do here. We have no fire because we can't see anybody. And I hope this doesn't keep coming up because I got to turn that off. All right, so now we got the movement phase. So let's click the this guy to move here. We'll move our our number one leader up. So let's move him here. All right. We move him up to here. Ah, okay. So now we see we got a squad here, squad there, squad there, but I'm sure they have other stuff. Now, we can move here. They're going to get shots at me. So if I... I Yeah, so, yeah, if I move here, he gets shots. He gets a long-range shot. I'm sure they got something sitting here. Must have a leader around somewhere. But I got five turns to get across, so I got to be bold. So, should be able to move here. And he shoots. Ah, damn it, gonna take casualty, yep. All right, he was the only one. Now I can do assault, and that's a house, so I'm not gonna move him any further. We got Moto and Rico, so we're gonna follow him right up here. So, go ahead here, here. All right, he saw him, and that should be missed, okay, yep. And this guy, we're going to move here. All right, nobody shot. Because I want to use this guy to assault. So if I go... Special form of the assault movement. So if I go here... Yeah, I can't. Okay. He is done, okay. And let's just move this guy here. He's going to have to substitute. So that's good. What do I have as far as line of sight? Uh, nothing. All right, there we go. I don't think they're going to have anybody down there. Okay, so we'll move on to the next phase. Defensive fire phase. He shot, he shot, so he's the only one that can shoot. Seven. Did I take another? Okay, good. Missed. Advance in the assault phase. Yes. All right. So now I can assault. He gets plus three. But I gotta get in there as soon as I can. Oh, destroyed them. Okay, attacker loses four. Attackers lose four. Attackers wipe out the defenders. Okay, so now I got one guy that's pinned. I got one full squad. I got a half a squad that's pinned. All right, good. So now this guy can move here. Let's keep this guy moving up to here. And... All right, moving him to there. Okay, so. Next phase is the allied, okay? That's it. And the next phase should be the German phase. So, let's go. German's turn, okay. See what they're going to do. Yeah. 
Eight. Good, that's a miss. Oh, pinned. Eight miss and miss good. Now with the pack eight, that should be miss also good. Access move and all right. You may fire with any of your units and not previously used opportunity fire in the previous move phase. But he moved. So, let's see. Still pinned. Uh, half a squad MG42. Should be able to. Let's turn on the line of sight here. So, and shoot at this guy. Shoot at him, can't shoot at him. Let's shoot at him. Okay. Got one guy pinned. And we got plus two in the house. Eight. And we missed. He's full squad. He should go and shoot at him. Nine, ten. Nope. Missed. Okay. So now, fly plus three at this house. Yeah, I see no reason why I shouldn't. Fire at him plus two plus two plus three. What I'm going to do is take one of these guys and move the, uh, one of the wads up on each. So I can pin him, it will make it easier. So let's. Low seven, no. Oh, did pin him. Okay, good. Okay, that will be it. All right, he rallied. Oh, good, we're all rallied. So now what do I have here? Okay, I got a half a squad. I can add another squad. Members, so let's do. Let's take him. Well, this is command, so can't really move him yet. Can't do anything to him yet. So let's just. That's the command phase. Don't have anything that I want to do on the command phase, so. Now we have the allied fire phase. Now I wanna, you know, I don't wanna fire. This guy, I could fire. Two. Keep him from shooting. Probably won't hit him, oh, not even a chance. It's, okay, well, that's it. Now we got the allied move phase. So, take this guy. Now I can take... Take this guy. Move him to... Here. Ah! And he's down to a half a squad, so. But he is now fired. Ooh. 
Ooh, six there. I think I can get... Well... No. Ah! I did it again. Take double shots at him. Yeah, pink. That's what I thought. Right. And I'll see. Yeah, nobody's left. No, move, no. Don't want to move them. Okay. Not do that. All right. Move into there. Don't want to move. Right, let's okay, let's go ahead. Seven missed. I shoot at him. Missed. Good. Alright, now... Alright... Plus three... Go ahead and... Right. Oh... Good! Outstanding! So now... We should be able to move here. Actually, I can move here. Okay. Well, we got back here. We got another full squad. Uh, squad will crop that we can now see. So, we're doing okay, I think. Attack the losses is five. All right, let's go next. German turn, good, it rallied. This. Yep, good. Shooting a log, yeah, because they, they, they're in the open mess. He's shooting at him. Missed. Good. All right. Salt move. Ooh. Boy, I got lucky there. Hmm. Okay. All right, Let's see, he's fired. Yeah, he moved his stack there. So let's go ahead and fire. Yes, destroyed the, the pack gun, good. It should be able to hit him. 18, 5, casualties, good. All right, click the three casualties. 
Oh, it's a long shot, but hey, we might be able to four. Did we hit him? Yes. Wheat. Okay. Next. All right, my turn. So. Man, let's see here. Really can't do anything there. Not really going to split my squads. This guy's got, what has he got left? Oh, just the leader. Oh, crap. So that leaves it up to him. But that will be in the move phase. All right. Then we can attack him and he can come up here and jump across this bridge. So let's go ahead. Okay, fire phase. Check out the LOS. Nope, can't see him. Can't see him. Yeah, don't want to fire these guys, even though I can see him, because I want to be able to be salts here. Uh, I got lucky. I think I can get, we'll try. We're, we're rolling pretty good right now. Yes, three. Destroyed him. Sweet. Okay. Now, he can move here. And this guy see him? No. All right. Well, we're not going to shoot anymore. Man, we got lucky with a couple of rolls. The die is with us today. Move him to here. Uh, we're going to just do salt. And leapfrog him. Let's try to find out. Let's go here. Yep, and here, and then the bridge. Okay, minor, I think I took a minor casualty. They can assault now, so we'll leave him there. Move him here. Oh, he's pinned. Okay, he's pinned. All right. So let's go ahead and... All right. Hey, I took no action. Advance assault phase. Okay, well, you know what we're going to do. Um, yeah, well, first off, let's do this. Take this group and move him here. This group... Here. Yes. We we got it. All right. That's good. He's pinned. He can't move, and he is not moving either. So. Go ahead and close. Go to the next phase. Ah, major victory. 275. Okay, well, two stars. I don't know what you have to do for the third star. I lost 42. 
They lost 89, but we won. So there you go. That was our first playthrough of Valor and Victory. Leave a like and leave a comment as always. And uh, we'll continue this. Uh, it's probably going to be whenever I got a free moment. We can make a video on it. So it won't be reoccurring like my current ones, but it looks like it's going to be a fun little game. So, well, not really little. Took a little str little squad thought there. So, other than that, it was great. So, well, anytime you win, I guess, is great. So, I will leave it at that before I ramble too much. So, just want to say thanks for joining me. And as always, I'm Captain Jake. Wishing you a fair winds and following seas. Until next time.